Hey, it's Mikey from Rockin' K, and it is Sunday, so we're hiding in the workshop. And today, I am going to show you how I made this lamp. That's coming up. Hey y'all, Mikey from Rockin' K, and today we're in the workshop because it's Sunday, so we're kind of hiding out. Um, but a um, couple weeks ago, I hung those solar panels and I cut this piece of beam off the back of the barn. So a friend of ours saw this this uh, lamp at a uh, like a Christmas market or something like that. And she fell in love with it, but it was really expensive. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're going to make her a lamp kind of kind of like it. For her so birthday. we're, we're going to recycle this piece of beam into a lamp. So the first thing I have to do is we went out. Well, the first thing we did was we went out and we got a, a lamp cord kit and a light socket. And the light bulb she wanted. And a fancy light bulb. So we got to take this cord and we got to get it down through here. So I'm going to take this over to the drill press oh, and bore a hole partway through because I want the top hole to be snug enough for this to kind of thread into it. So first I'm going to do the, the, the bottom, the bottom hole here. And I'm also going to try to run the bit on the side of this a little bit to create a little bit of a channel for the cord to run underneath the lamp. So let's do it. So we're gonna have to drill this by hand because my drill press is a little bit too tiny. <laughs> so first off, we'll draw the, we'll drill with, with the little hand drill and it is a big bore for a tiny wire, but the idea is it'll make it easier to fish the wire through and stuff like that, so. Away we go. Okay, now what I'm gonna try to do is kinda, kinda drill-ish here. Eh, probably what, I, nah, what I'll do is, I want a channel for this wire to run in. Run it on the table saw. And I think the easiest is going to be. Uh, the jigsaw set up on, um, upside using down. Using a ball mill. Okay. And just, just, because we just need a slight groove. So I'm going to use a ball mill on the drill. So let me go find a ball mill real quick. So I found a ball mill. And we'll just use the ball mill, ball mill to just kind of make a little groove for that wire. Normally you'll use these in like a high speed uh, angle grinder and stuff like that. But we're just doing wood. So we'll just use it in a drill. And as you can see, it doesn't go really fast. And the material cutting is really slow in a drill.
And part of the difficulty is I'm trying to hold this in place while running the ball mill through it. And it's oak. Put this in the bench vise where I can hold it. Now I'm going to put it in the vise, but I'm going to be very careful not to scar up the wood. Although it would give it character, I just need to hold it steady. Much easier. So we'll check out the cord, make sure it lays down in there. And we'll do just a little bit more right here at the end, just to make sure. Boy, you can tell this is oak. 75 year aged. Oh, that looks pretty good. All right, so now we have a channel underneath the lamp. And we get scarred up. Now, We need to install this on the other side. So I'm going to have to drill a hole from this side and hopefully it followed the pith and will be close enough that this will thread right in and I can feed the wire nice and easy all the way down through. We can hope. All right, I found a bit that I hope is the right size. So I'm only going to drill it just a little bit of ways to make sure that this threads in and then I'll drill it the rest of the way if it fits. And that's the winner. So now we'll drill it the rest of the way and hope that we were able to follow the pith the whole way through the, the piece of wood and that we can get the cord all the way through. It's through. We must have been been there. So, oh, it's dead center. I don't know if you can see that, but it is dead center. We were able to follow the pith the whole way through. So, now what I'll do is I'll thread this in. Actually, you know what? It's going to be easier to thread this down onto the cable. If I feed the cable first, drop it down around the cable. Because if not, I'll have two lips to deal with. One lip from this hole to the size of this hole. And then, of course, trying to get in there. And that's not going to work. So we'll undo the cord. Crap. 
crazy Sunday projects, huh, baby? And we'll feed the cord up through. Hopefully we can land it where we need it. Yes, I see it. Oh, oh, there it is. And now I'll put it through here and then thread this in. to the hole we drill. Awesome. So we're 90% of the way there. All that's left is to hook the wires up to the bottom here. And yeah. Uh, she doesn't know. And she's debating whether she's going to finish it with a teak oil or something like that just to kind of seal it up some. Um, she's not 100% sure yet. And um, she's going to buy three little... Um, foam feet because there's a little bit of rock on it and of course if you make three points um it's kind of like a tripod it doesn't matter what even if the surface that you put it on isn't level it'll sit nice and snug so what she'll end up doing is putting um three little feet probably two here and one here to make it that it sits nice and and firm because we did cut it with a chainsaw and um, we tried using the table saw to true it up quite a bit, but it is thick. Um, and just that little bit, um, I don't know if it's the table because the table's got a rubber mat that's kind of wavy, but there's a little bit of rock to it. So let me, uh, let me get the rest of the, this put together. So when you're putting the cord in there, um, you do want to put a, a knot so that it doesn't, you can't pull the cord out of the, the light socket. And then it's real simple. Uh, you insert the, the wires into the in the into the two um, the two connectors, and always the neutral connector is the outside of the bulb. While it does matter when you're doing like ceiling lights, because when you plug this in, you can plug it in in either direction. It really doesn't matter, but um, you're supposed to have the neutral conductor on the outside so that if you were grabbing the bulb to unscrew it, you don't get a shock because the center post is what's actually supposed to have the um, the load wire, you know, your hot wire. So, but this is 99% done, but like I said, make sure you put a knot in it so it can't pull through and, you know, you can't pull the, the, the wire out of these, these uh, connectors. Okay, now we can ops check it. So we got a decorative bulb, a nice LED bulb. And now we just need somewhere to plug it in. We'll be right back. So we got the nice bulb in there. Now, like I was saying, all that's left is to plug it in and test it out. So, hopefully all goes right. Perfect. Look at that. Awesome. Looks pretty cool. So, Rachel is rethinking this a little bit. And 
She wasn't sure if she wanted to go with the brass and the wood or black and the wood um, because they do make a black one of these, the, the black plastic covering. Um, so we're 99% done until she changes her mind. So um, yeah, this is easy. We have a lamp for the cost of I mean, really, the cable and the, you know, the light socket. So I think it was, you know, I think the light, the lamp cord was maybe seven euro, and the little lamp socket is like another three or four euro. So, you know, we come out the other side of this for like between ten and twelve euro. Um, yeah, it beats the price of this lamp at the Christmas mark. And I know that's not what it's about, you know, that, you know, the people have to make, make money, but, um, sometimes you don't have the money to spend, not like that, because we're talking, it was like four or five, at least four or five times the cost of the pieces, at least. And you saw how quick we could build it. So, um, that's it for this one. Um, just a quick little, little project. So... Um, you know my motto, if you're thinking about family, you're thinking about friends, give them the what's up or the what's app. You know you'd love to hear from them too. And until the next installment, I'll feed us in. Cheers. Mm -hmm.